how do you set up your kitchen for maximum efficiency? As a professional organizer, one of my favorite things to do is unpack a kitchen and set it up the right way on moving day. In today's video, I'm giving you the steps I follow to unpack and organize my clients' kitchens. Hi, I'm professional organizer, Katherine Lawrence, and I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have more space for the things that truly matter. When you resettle into your new home, one of the first rooms you should set up is your kitchen. The kitchen is the center of household activities for most families and is critical for following a healthy lifestyle. The first thing I do when I go into a kitchen for the very first time is to identify the work triangle. Simply put, this is the most frequently used space in your kitchen. The three points of the triangle are made up of the sink, stove, and the refrigerator. I know if I do not have ample storage and work surfaces in this area, I'm going to be a little bit in trouble and I need to start thinking about modifications, like adding shelving or a cart with a work surface that can act as an island. If you don't have good space in that work triangle, check out my other video on maximizing space in a small kitchen. Next, I'll identify major work zones like cooking, which I like to put to the right of the stove or near the stove, prep tools, which I like to put close to the largest work surface in the work triangle, serving and entertaining. These can go near the dining area with the exception of your everyday utensils, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit. Food storage. If a pantry is unavailable, locate a space near the refrigerator, but away from household cleaners. Also, I like to sometimes put in additional shelving to create a pantry. Cleanup. This typically goes under the sink. Then I'll use sticky notes to plan out every drawer and cabinet in the kitchen before I unpack the first box. Now, this plan can change as I take everything out of the moving boxes, but it helps me understand where I need to add space maximizing products like shelf stackers and mug hooks, or if I need to have a conversation with my client about their 75 souvenir mugs that would take up too much real estate if I stored them all together in two full cabinets. Next, I'm gonna decide on a location for everyday dishes and utensils. When I start the unpacking process, the first space I set up are the everyday dishes, glasses, and utensils. I want these in a convenient place, ideally uh, the cabinet and top drawer most centrally located to the dishwasher. Then I'm going to move through the other categories of things following the layout I created with my sticky notes. All right, so step four is an important one. I'll usually hit this at some point during the unpacking process, and that is looking for what I call overflow sites. Often there is just not enough room for everything to fit in the kitchen. If you are downsizing to a smaller kitchen or losing a pantry, you will need to identify satellite locations for extra items. Um, examples would be to set up shelving in the garage or basement, to store bulky appliances and less frequently used cooking tools, uh, bulk cleaning and paper products can find a home in the laundry room, Entertaining items like crystal and china can find a home in the dining room or holiday dishes can be packed and stored away for special occasions. The last step I'm going to take, which is maximizing hidden storage, is going to be on my mind as I'm unpacking, just in case I need it. So after all the boxes are unpacked and moved out of the space, I'll reevaluate the space to identify where I can eke out just a little bit more storage room. Here are a few of my favorites. Adding cup hooks and stemware holders to the underside of cabinets. Installing spice racks on open walls. In addition to spices, you can store teas, medications, small prep tools on these mini shelves. Hanging a pot rack. Getting the pots and pans out of your cabinets can free up a ton of space. And placing those shelf stackers inside your cabinets to double the storage for plates, bowls, and mugs is essential. For more space maximizing hacks for your kitchen, check out my video on maximizing space in a small kitchen. You'll find all the product links in the blog version on my website, which is www.myspacematters.com, and I'll put a link to that blog in the description box of this video below.
please like and subscribe for more videos on downsizing, decluttering, and the business of organizing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.